It is the start of April and it snowed the other day. And apparently it's going to snow again tomorrow. So I am not looking forward to that. I have no idea that winter in Finland is going to be this long. And according to my husband, sometimes it can still snow in May. Today, when I went grocery shopping, I still have to wear my down jacket and gloves because it was minus two in April. So Finland was voted again as the happiest country in the world for the seventh year. While I don't feel like happy is the right word to use here, um, I do think people are more content in life, especially in the Nordics. Probably because they have very good social welfare, education is free until university I think, work-life balance is good, surrounded by nature, etc etc so i guess having a bad winter month is not so bad i finally got a dining chair from a website called dori fee it's a Finnish website where you can sell um, secondhand furniture, cars, houses, you can post about jobs, pretty much anything you can get from this website. And then I got these four chairs. It's very cute. And what you see over here is all thrifted. So this tablecloth, this, um, what do you call this? Cloth chair, this dining table, that chair over there, those candles, candle stand, I mean. And even this plate is from my grandma's. No, actually I bought this in Amsterdam from a second-hand store. This used to be my mom's. And even this bag is vintage, so yeah. Feet on the stripes in the Alabama Highway. Out there in the open, just a vision and a hope. And I could smell the pine when I read you in the doorway. If you sit next to my name, like you've been here before. Oh, 
Okay, so I have lived in Korea for six years when I was in elementary school to middle school. So I grew up eating spicy food and kimchi is my most favorite food. Maybe not most, but like top 10 food and my top, my most top 10 favorite, my, my top 10 favorite food probably. So the kimchi I make is usually vegan and this is just my interpretation of making the kimchi so it's not exactly authentic so yeah just a little disclaimer but I would say this is pretty close to what I used to eat it's I love my kimchi very very fermented so I love them very sour and I love putting it on fried rice, making soup out of it, putting it on tofu. It's just really good and very helpful to have in the fridge all the time. I live in Finland, so obviously I can't get hold of um, Korean pear. So instead I'm using just the usual apples over here. Yeah, the rest is just basic ingredients that you can get anywhere in the world, I think.